This is the Morning Swim Show for Tuesday, August 9th, 2011. I'm Jeff Cummings, back here in the Phoenix studios after five days at the USA Swimming National Championships in Stanford. I had the pleasure of talking to just about all the winners at the meet, plus a few rising stars to watch out for in the coming years. Today we're going to show you two of those interviews from Stanford. First up is the always exciting Elizabeth Beisel, who had just finished a monster double on the first day of the meet, winning the 200 IM and placing third in the 400 free. After that is first-time national champion Lara Jackson, who talks about the emotions of winning the 50 free after struggling through years of personal adversity. And here with Elizabeth Beisel, who won the 200 IM and was third in the 400 free today. Elizabeth, how are you feeling coming back from Shanghai? Very jet lagged. Uh, I felt the jet lag with me in both races, but uh, definitely good to get some good times under my belt, uh, especially after tra like traveling across the world. I wasn't really expecting anything. This meet is sort of just like a fun meet, uh, seeing what I can do, just you know, not worrying about anything, no pressure. So I'm very happy with the first night. 200 IM, you won the national title. I know you just said you weren't expecting anything, but after that foreign I am at Worlds, were you thinking, you know, some good cap? Yeah, no, I definitely thought that, you know, I could potentially have a good 200 I am. Uh, it was the best time. I haven't got a best time in that for a few years since the suits and stuff. So for me to, you know, be hitting those best times when there were the suits out is definitely like a, a pretty big confidence boost. So we're happy. Well, I know when you talked to us on the morning swim show after NCAAs, you were kind of a little bit down saying it yeah. wasn't your best to me. How did, you, how did you get into world and say, you know, just put that behind you and just focus on what you were doing? Yeah. Uh, it was it was pretty hard. Um, you know, Coach Troy is definitely very good at trying to keep me, you know, mentally stable and you know, motivated and stuff. And um, I was just really looking forward to um, Worlds like the whole past year. So that was always in the back of my mind, even though it seems wasn't as well as I wanted it to be. But um, it, I think it was almost easier for me after having a bad end to come back and have a good beat because I wanted to do better. So. Has it sunk in? Do you want a world title before I am? It's so weird. I, I mean, I always would have thought like a few years ago that it'd always be in the true back show, true back show. So it's definitely a surprise in the four I am, but uh, it's a good surprise, and I'm very excited. Take me, take me back to that race. And what did you ever think there was a point? Oh my God, I've got this one, or was it like not until you? <laughs> I didn't want to take anything for granted, but um, I think maybe the last freestyle turn, um, I had a pretty good lead on everybody, and I was like, don't mess this up. Just last 50 freestyle, and um, it was a long last 50. I was looking for the wall for a really long time, but uh, you know, I got there and I touched, and you know, I got the job done, and it was exciting. So. Do you think the disappointment of not uh, swimming as fast as you wanted to turn her back helped that, or do you think? Kind of in the back of your mind, you would have still gone that fast, even if you had a good turner back. You know, I don't know. It was it was definitely tough. Uh, you know, my turner back wasn't horrific at any by any means. It was just not what I wanted it to be. I've been a lot faster. Um, so you know, coming back into the four I am after that was pretty hard. But I think it was I was sort of like really bad, and I just wanted to like redeem myself. So I think it was almost a good thing I didn't have a good turner back show. So. Are you going to do the four I am here? Yeah, Coach Troy's making me. Thank you. <laughs> to him. He's loading up the events for this meet. So. Well, that's what you guys like to do again. Uh, <laughs> no, no surprise there. Well, we look forward to seeing the rest of me. Thanks. Thank you so much. Laura Jackson just won the 50 free. Laura, had some ups and downs pretty much the last three years. What does it mean for you to finally win your national title? I can't even explain it. Like these last two years have been me constantly trying to get back in the saddle, kind of, you know, not necessarily getting there, and then finally overcoming. I was like so emotional. Like it's just finally like this huge burden off my back. Like now I can, you know, roll the ball easy. So it means everything to me. How have you been able to stay focused through all the diversity you've had to go through? Well, um, the head coach when I was swimming, Frank Bush, always used to say, you know, adversity is our greatest teacher. And uh, whenever something would happen or I uh, had a challenge, I would just keep that in mind, try not to let myself get discouraged and actually learn from it. And um, 
like it sounds like hokey or whatever but it, it's true like and I, now I'm stronger than ever like I, I don't know mentally I, I don't know if I can be shaken anymore you know I've had it all thrown in my face and it feels good to come out on top and I just feel crazy momentum going into next year. Were you surprised by the time? Um, I, I'm not gonna lie, I was hoping for a little faster and uh, there are some things in there that I, was, I wish, you know, I would have done this way, I wish I did it in that way, but we're all like that, we all do that, and if we were satisfied, we wouldn't stay hungry anyway, so I guess, no, <laughs> I don't know. Our thanks to all the athletes who took the time to talk to us during the meet. That's going to do it for today's show. Peter Bush will be back here tomorrow to talk to the young champion who is the big topic of conversation right now, Missy Franklin. We'll see you then.